Hey guys, welcome back. So guys, we are continuing our Laravel 8 block series. And in this video guys, we are going to start with how to delete this comment. Okay. So we will be using jQuery Ajax to delete this comment. So guys, now let's get started. So let's get back to editor. And here is our comment which we have looped and showed the data. Okay. So first step guys, let's move at the top at this app layouts. Go to this page and add one jquery cdn link okay so we have already integrated that and just yield one script section so let's copy this and get back to our comment page okay so this is our comment and add the below after this let's add one section and this section is going to be script section and end the section done let me just zoom it okay so yep guys now let's begin with the script tag let's jq doc and jq on event where this selector will be document right now and the event is going to be a click event click and on what click it should be on delete comment okay so we are using a dot that means we will create this button name in a class so let's get back at the delete button here is our delete button so we are not doing with this edit option right now let me just remove it let's see in future videos yep guys and now from a tag to let's change this to button and this type will be as button and value here you are going to get your comment id so our comment id just take this dollar comment i mean your looped data comment of id and then your button name that is delete comment so make sure you are adding in a class copy this delete comment and come here all done so now guys let's check this with the help of alert function whether this button is working or not hello ajax okay so yep now make sure refresh okay so let's click on this delete here see hello ajax comes perfect so now guys let's get the id so what id you're going to get on this delete command you're getting this id yep so before getting the id uh, i want to tell let's add a one confirm thing so before deleting your comment let's tell are you sure you want to delete your comment so you can just add if condition here let's add confirm function so which comes with the jquery are you sure you want to delete this comment okay if yes then we are going to get the data so let's create one variable this clicked is equal to dollar this okay so this will take the exact button data okay so from that let's take this this clicked dot val so inside this you are going to have your comment underscore id so when you click on this delete button you are going to get its value so when i click on this you will take the value comment id and paste that in a variable comment id and now guys let's write the ajax so jq ajax ajax here type method post and url let's make it as delete hyphen comment and the data you are going to give the comment id you are going to send as the input and then your comment id let's paste so we don't require the data type and after the response let me make this small you can just check in a if condition your response dot status double equal to 200 then you're coming in and telling like 
alert response dot message and before this when we click that this row should get deleted okay i mean this container itself should delete off yep so for that guys you let's take this this clicked dot find the closest function and remove it so what the closest means i mean closest not closest so closest means on this button click that closest div area so this is my button and its closest div area is this okay so this is the end div and close div here let's add as comment container okay so you can keep any name so i'm giving comment container and pasting that here with the dot comment container okay and now guys let's add else condition like if something goes wrong you can show the message here save it so now guys let's copy this path and create a route okay so yep route colon colon post method where i'm going to tell delete comment and the controller we have already created for comment to store and to also delete so let's tell this try copy and go to the comment controller and create a function so yep public function destroy where first you are going to check the authentication so we have already done here let me just copy and paste it to the saved time if else we are doing with the ajax right so we have to send the response in json format so let's return response function with the json format where you will tell the status first so status is all about uh, not 200 if it's not authenticated for not one unauthorized and then message message we are going to shell that is login to delete this comment okay so now let's get the id guys so for that you are going to get the request dollar request so now guys let's uh, search for the comment so comment is equal to your comment model colon colon where you are going to find the authenticated user id and your comment id let us go to our comments model and here you find the post id user id okay so yep guys now you can tell id where your comment id so dollar request of id okay so what id you are getting is nothing but your comment id what you have passed inside your ajax so i have passed as comment underscore id let's take that and paste here all set so now let's get the another where condition and after this you can just search for first record now guys in this you are going to check with that user id so user underscore id and inside this the authenticated user id you need to paste so for that let me just make it next row here in the above we have already taken the user id right so let me just copy that and paste here all set so you find the comment id and the user id so if the user is authenticated then only can delete his comment id now let's tell that delete function to delete the data after the deleting the data let's send the response so we are deleting using ajax right so we need to send the gsm response over here so here we have to send 200 and you can mention comment deleted successfully all done so your status and the message you have to copy this and go in your ajax part and just 
check that your response status and to show your message you just need to paste that message that's it guys so now yep let us test it so refresh okay now let's inspect and see if any error throws so we can see in the console yep now i'm going to delete this post nice blog or post okay so delete are you sure yes okay and you find that unknown status 419 okay so 419 error means it's a csrf token error okay csrf token in ajax okay so just go to this link and here you'll find your csrf tokens yep let's move below and for the ajax we require in a different format here you see this should be in your meta title i mean your head tag and this is your setup so let us copy this and get back so in your ajax script just set up this all done and this csrf token make sure it's available where it's available means you need to go to your app so you can just check out in the header part it's there or not okay it's available so not an issue let's get back to our csrf yep so now guys let's refresh once again and retry to delete the data okay so let's click on this here you see okay and you see that comment deleted successfully okay and you see that your comment has vanished okay let's refresh so you see only one comment perfect so now guys in some cases like someone tries to inspect and misbehave with the id something like let's inspect this and here if someone tries to change this comment id so in that case what happens we don't know right so let's validate this from the backend side okay so you just need to add one if condition over here let's take this comment if this comment is getting some data that means it's coming true then you have to delete the comment okay so let's check with the if else condition so if means you have to delete the comment done and let us cut this and paste inside the if condition so now let's add a else part so here what happens you are going to check as if the comment is not found then you can tell the status 500 and you can tell either comment id not found or else let's keep a simple thing something went wrong that's it so yep guys uh, let's get back okay so yep guys and let's try to delete this record also okay let's click yes okay and here you see comment deleted if i click that it goes so guys in this video that's it we have seen how to delete the data successfully in laravel 8 application using jquery ajax so thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share